do subscribe to ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students let us solve the next question question number 8 of jwa advanced physics paper 1 2015 Students, let us solve the next question of 2015 JWA Advance. Question number eight. It says an infinitely long uniform line charge distribution of charge for inclined lambda lies parallel to y-axis. So this is y-axis lies parallel to y-axis. Suppose that uh, this is the charge distribution over here, infinitely long. Up to infinity, and that uh, charge for unit length is lambda. Now, lies uh, parallel to the y-axis in uh, y-z plane at a distance of uh, z equals to this is uh, this distance is root three upon a alpha as shown in figure. <coughs> Now. If the magnitude of this is uh, a root three upon two a, this is a. If the magnitude of the flux of electric field through the rectangular surface A B C D, so because of this the flux will pass uh, through the space. And particularly through this surface A B C D, rectangular surface A B C D, lying in x y plane. This is lying in this plane, x y plane, with its center at the origin. Its center is at the origin. Is uh, lambda L by n epsilon naught, where epsilon naught is the permitted free space. Find the value of n. So you have to find this value of n. That means we are supposed to find the flux through this uh, portion. This infinite long uh, line distribution, say wire, is placed here, and uh, there is a plane over here, xy plane. In this plane, there is a patch A B C D surface, and through that surface, how much flux will pass? That means we have to find the uh, First of all, we have to first of all we have to construct a tube, and uh, we'll make uh, the surface, this uh, base surface A B C D, as uh, one face of the cube, and uh, we'll make uh, this as the center. This as the center. So that uh, if this as the center of the cube, then uh, this face, uh, how much angle it projects at this face? Obviously, out of uh, 360 degree, it will. Uh, I suppose that it should be uh, 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 60 degree, and uh, through that 60 degree, because there are six faces, so symmetrical. So if it is 60 degree. Then uh, through that 60 degree uh, angle, how much flux will pass through? That is our aim to find. Now, now we know that if I draw this diagram again to understand this is the situation. This is my x. This is my y. And this is my z axis. Now the line charge is placed at a distance here, which is parallel to this y axis. So it will be something like this. And this is uh, the charge distribution, which is lambda coulomb per meter. At this distance is a uh, root three by two a, so this distance is root three divided by two 
A. And uh, the patch over here, ABCD, is uh, something like this drawn here. Something like this, I'll draw with uh, this one. ABCD is uh, something like this. Something like this. Something like this. And uh, something like this. This one is drawn here. This is A, this is B, this is C, this is D. Now, and to construct a cube of, uh, this is one face of the cube. This should be one face of the cube. I have to, and uh, this should be the center of the cube. And then uh, I have to see what angle it projects uh, here. What angle it projects here because I have to construct the cube. So what angle it projects here? Here. And what angle it projects here? So this is what we have to find. Suppose this angle is theta. And this angle is also theta. That it projects an angle to theta at this face. So, and we have to find this angle first. And this angle can be obtained by using this right angle triangle. In this right angle triangle, this tan theta will be this side over this side and uh, tan theta comes out to be this side uh, suppose this point is uh, not give mention any point so i'll like say suppose this is o center of the q so this is uh, at this point is suppose any point i can call it suppose this point is a p and this point is suppose uh, q then this is uh, p q over p o this distance upon this distance and uh, this distance p q will be how much this total uh, distance is given as a you can see here this total distance is a and this is a by 2 this is uh, a by 2 here this is a by 2 here the distance will be a by 2 so I'll write this is a by 2 okay this distance will be a divided by 2 okay because this is uh, if this is a by 2 uh, it is given uh, a by 2 then this distance is how much root 3 a by 2 this is root 3 a by 2 this is root 3 a by 2. So I write this is a by 2 over uh, root 3 a by 2. So this becomes a by 2 a by 2 cancels 1 by root 3. Theta is 30 degree. So if theta is 30 degree then uh, tan theta uh, then you have a total angle that is projected at the face is 2 theta. So this is 60 degree. We know that uh, due to this line uh, distribution of charge the flux Q in e upon epsilon naught, the flux, total flux is Q in upon epsilon naught. This is from uh, Gauss theorem. And that equals to the Q in is how much? Lambda into L. Because uh, we are concerned only with this length. So within this length, uh, the Q is constructed and therefore uh, it is uh, lambda L upon epsilon naught. Now we have to find uh, what is the flux through 60 degree. So this is the flux uh, 
through 360 degree. Flux through 360 degree is this. So flux through 60 degree will be lambda L by epsilon naught 60 divided by 360. So this is uh, lambda L by epsilon naught into 1 by 6. This is the flux through A, B, C, D. Uh, this is the flux through A, B, C, D. If the magnitude of flux in the electric field through the phase A, B, C, D lying in the axial plane is this. So it's given. This is the obtained value. And what is given is that uh, lambda L upon N epsilon naught is the flux through a, B, C, D surface given. If I compare these two, then uh, this 6 and this N will match. So the value of N comes out to be 6. That is the answer to this question. But we must also see how this is formed actually i'll just give you one more diagram for you to understand now let us draw the diagram to understand Suppose this was the Q and uh, this is the center of the Q. Okay, this is the center of the Q. Now, this axis, origin of this axis, three axis are here. Like this. This is the Z axis. This is the y axis and this is the x axis. Now you can see that that uh, this one subtending, this is the center where the that is placed uh, uniform line distribution of charge is placed over here. This is plus plus. This extends up to infinity and uh, being this. Uh, is this much of length is bounded only this much length is bounded because uh, this is our a this are b and this c and d only this length is bounded so this length we have to consider that uh, this length contains uh, q e in equals to lambda into l this is the charge enclosed within this uh, gaussian sphere this is a gaussian cubical surface and uh, the angle that it projects on one side only on here this angle is theta this angle is theta so this two to two, two, this total angle is two theta that is 60 degree so this 60 degree uh, that flux passing through this this surface uh, will be that way calculated as uh, lambda n upon 6 epsilon naught okay because uh, this is the and this distance is uh, a by 2 because this is a mm, so this is a by 2 this is uh, a by 2 and this distance is uh, from the origin this distance is uh, given as a uh, root 3 a by 2 so from the last we discussed this distance is a now because half of this distance so this is a by 2 this is uh, root 3 by 2 so tan theta will be 30 degree so theta will be 30 degree and tan theta is 1 by root 3 so this how this is how you have to imagine the thing that how much this line uh, projects on this phase 
that means how much angle it is obtains uh, depending on that we have to find and that angle subtends is uh, 60 degree so for 60 degree we calculated the value of uh, and find that value of n is 6 okay thank you